Okay, now we're going to look at another set of rules for indices. Um, the first one, anything to the power of zero is one. Then a negative power means one over, or it means flip it over. Um, a power of a half is the same as a square root, and a power of a third is the same as a cube root. I'm going to go over them one by one. So the first rule, anything to the power of zero is one. So to explain this, we're going to go back to our other rules of indices, which is when we divide, we subtract the powers. So we've got 2 to the power of 1, divided by 2 to the power of 1. 1 take away 1 is 0. So 2 divided by 2 is the same as 2 to the power of 0, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. And this is going to work for any number. So 3 to the power of 1 divided by 3 to the power of 1, well, if we follow the rules of indices, we subtract the powers, that's 3 to the power of 0, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. Same thing with any number. So 4 to the power of 1 divided by 4 to the power of 1 is 4 to the power of 0, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. So anything to the power of 0 is 1. Okay, second rule. Got a minus power means 1 over, or it means flip over. So we've got 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 squared here. So that means 2 divided by 2 times 2. So 2 over 4, and that simplifies to 1 half. And if you follow the rules of indices, 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 2, take away the powers, 1 take away 2, 2 to the power of minus 1. Same thing with 3. 3 divided by 3 times 3. 3 ninths, which is the same as 1 third. And from the rules of indices, 1 take away 2 is minus 1. So, and again, this will work for any number. So, a negative power means 1 over or it means flipped over. Okay, power of a half means square root. So a power of a half, in this case we've got 4 to the power of a half times 4 to the power of a half. We know when we multiply powers we add the indices. So base stays the same, half plus half makes a whole. And we've got two numbers here that are the same so this number and this number are the same number, and they multiply to give 4. So what two numbers are the same multiply to give 4? They've got to be 2 and 2. So 4 to the power of a half must equal 2. Here I've got 9, so 9 to the power of a half times 9 to the power of a half is 9 to the power of 1. And again, we've got two numbers that must be the same, that multiply to give 9, so these must be 3 and 3. So 9 to the power of a half must equal 3. So the rule here is, power of a half means square root. And a power of a third means cube root. So in this case I've got 8 to the power of a third, multiplied by 8 to the power of a third, multiplied by 8 to the power of a third. If we add the powers, a third plus a third plus a third makes a whole, and I've got three numbers multiplied by themselves that make 8. So this is 2 times 2 times 2. So 8 to the power of a third must equal 2. So the rule is, anything to the power of a third is a cube root. OK, I'm going to go through some questions and show you how to apply these rules. So firstly, we've got 3 to the power of 0. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. This is 1. 16 to the power of a half. Power of a half means square root. So square root 16 is 4. 64 to the power of a third. 
power of a third means cube root, and the cube root of 64 is also 4. 5 to the power of minus 1. Minus 1, the power of minus 1, means flipped over, or 1 over. So, in this case, 1 over 5. 2 thirds to the power of minus 1. Two third, 1 over 2 thirds just flips 2 thirds over. So, whatever we have in the fraction flips over. So, 2 over 3 becomes 3 over 2. And now we've got two rules combined here. So we've got a half and a normal cube. So we do it step by step. So we do four square rooted. Power of a half means square root. So four square rooted makes two. But we've still got the cube. And two times two times two, that makes eight. Here again, two rules combined. So have a third and a minus. So we're going to have a cube root and we're going to flip it over. So we'll flip it over first. So let's go 8 over 27, still to have a third. And then we're going to cube root. So what times itself and times itself again makes 8? That's 2. And what makes 27? That's 3 times 3 times 3. Okay, so here's some questions for you to have a go at. Um, give them a go, pause the video, and then I'll go through the answers in a minute. Okay, first one, we've got 9 to the power of 0, anything to the power of 0 is 1. 9 to the power of a half, Half means square root. Square root 9 is 3. 9 to the power of minus 1. The power of minus 1 means flip over. That makes 1 ninth. 1, 2, 5 to the power of a third. That means cube root. Cube root 1, 2, 5 is 5. Anything to the power of 0 again is 1. Two rules combined for this one. So 4 square rooted, which gets rid of the half is 2, then flipped over, 1 over 2. 27, cube rooted, makes 3, then squared, 9. So we've got a square and a flip, so 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, so that gives 4 over 9, flipped over, 9 over 4. This is just a square root, so we square root them both. Square root 81 makes 9. Square root 4 makes 2. And this is a cube root and a flip. So cube rooted, 1, 2, 5 makes 5. 8 makes 2, so 5 over 2, but flipped over, 2 over 5.